Hey YouTube, it's Crystal Dragonfly. I'm coming at you with another do-it-yourself video for washi tape, or what I call decorative tape. <laughs> um, I've showed one before, but this one I think is um, a whole different, different way to do it. So, what you'll need is wax paper. You'll need a tube of some sort for you can cut rooms. Paper towel tube, towel paper tube. You'll need double sided tape and either um, scissors or I use my my little cutter. So I'm going to show you the process and show you some of that I've done. Okay? Here we go. I'm going to move that out of the way first. Alright, so here's my wax paper. You get your double sided tape. I use a little section, it's a little bit easier than one big giant loop. <laughs> and just place it on, on it. It doesn't matter either side. This is the side that will be peeled off. So. It doesn't really um, matter which one. Alright, now you can use anything, like I said, to put on here. Well, not anything. I did try to use fabric and it does not work. Unless you have like super duper double sided tape, it's not going to work. So, I've used tissue paper. But right now I'm going to show you with wrapping paper. So, you put that right on top of what you did on top of your wax paper. Once you lay it, you gotta lay it because it will not be, uh, you'll get a bubble or whatnot. Just gonna have to deal with that. And of course, that's part of the, the whole homemadeness. You know, it's not perfect. You're gonna have those little wrinkles. Alright, so there's that. We got that together. Now you're gonna need your cutter. Like I said, you can use scissors. But I found that this is a little bit easier. Um, I folded my paper in half where I can be in there. And you can kind of feel um, where your tape is. If not, you can just kind of stick your finger where it stops and put it like that. But I know where, where it's at because I know the measurement. So, there's that. There's me. <laughs> and here's your washi tape. If you want, you could cut this side, but I don't see the point because I make it, put it right on the edge so it's literally the tape's right there. So when you go to do it, you can just take your piece. Let me cut, I'm going to cut a little piece off because I don't want to ruin the whole thing. Um, let me just take your piece of washi tape, pull your wax paper off. And voila, your own washi tape. Like I said, um, I did tissue paper on them. And I use little um, twist ties to keep them on. I used um, paper from books, which you could use like a notebook paper also. And then, like I said, the uh, wrapping paper. Another thing I thought you could use um, would be the, um, shoot, I'm having a brain fart, guys. The scrap, you know how you have scrapbook pieces, of little bitty pieces, all lines of shit that are, you just don't, really can't use for much? Well, you could use it for your own washi tape. I like to washi tape. Washi, washi, washi. It's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so I did try, um, another one would be to use, I tried, I have all these little ribbons. I was going to try doing it with these, 
And it does stick, but my tape is wider than my ribbon. And it'd just be too much of a pain to try to trim that tape up. So, I spent a dollar at Dollar Tree for my wax paper. I spent a dollar on this, and I'm still the same roll, guys. And I spent, um, actually tissue paper I already had from something else. Um, so, I spent a whole two bucks, and I've got this much so far. Pretty freaking good, isn't it? Alright, well, I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this do-it-yourself. I give it two thumbs up. I really like this way. It's, uh, once you get the hang of it, it's really quick and easy. Happiness to you guys. Bye.